I broke up with my first boyfriend uh, on May 5th. We dated for three years. Just a little more than two years to nine months. And we've been living together for a long time. Uh, he was going to school in New Hampshire and I was in Boston. Almost our entire relationship was a long distance relationship. It was really hard to find time for each other. We couldn't see each other very often. Um, we occasionally did this thing where we would, one of us would just have a sort of a breakdown. And it usually happened the day that one of us was leaving. I just was awful to be around, so, you know, she, she uh, uh, understandably didn't like being around me. We had just been fighting a lot lately. Um, I guess mostly because of the distance. It would just hit you again how much you would have to deal with being apart again for another three weeks, another month. Just feeling like I was gonna die. This is really hard. You know, I, I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I wanna do this. We just disagreed on so many things and uh, it just got really, really tough to maintain a relationship. He turned the TV off and he said, I've been having some trouble, which is kind of what we always said um, when we needed to have that talk. I just said, I don't think we should be together anymore. I think we're just heading in opposite directions. And, you know, I don't think, you know, it's time for a relationship. She was very upset. I was very upset. Uh, and it was rough. I was trying to talk to him. I was trying to drag out of him what he was still feeling. And I was like, I just told him, you know, don't lie to me. You know, just, I don't care, just tell me. We both kind of decided that, you know, it was just kind of bad timing. Things weren't necessarily gonna work out. And uh, uh, I guess it was just, it kind of was a classic case of just, you know, growing apart. One night she uh, called me and was like, yeah, so I uh, found someone else. And I was like, really? And um, apparently she was like interested in some other guy. And this guy was a lot more together, uh, aside from physically being a much uh, more attractive mate than me. And I became really depressed and was just uh, no fun to be around. Uh, and so she ended up leaving me for this guy. And he told me he admitted that he did uh, kiss a friend. I just screamed at him, what am I supposed to do now? My, definitely my, my pride had been damaged. I just went to my room and I just broke down and I was upset, so I was, I was bawling my eyes out. And uh, it was really, really hard. And I fell apart. So I just became, you know, I became really uh, just, very, very depressed. I couldn't eat and I couldn't sleep for about a week. Because uh, I just wasn't ready. It was the same kind of like someone is pulling at both sides of you, both, like someone has a, a hand on your insides and is pulling it in opposite directions. And it's not, not, nothing is tearing, it's just, it's just pulling. There's this, there's this tightness. I just loved him so much and I would be able to forgive him and I, I was very much in love with him, and still am. It was really, really tough to get over. It was so difficult to be so isolated from him because he was my best friend. 
there are things that I talked to him about that no one else has ever had a conversation with me about. We were best friends. That he said that he still wanted to be friends, and I, I still do want to be friends because you know. But we're still friends. Um, I just couldn't find anyone to replace him, which, quite frankly, I don't know if I actually believed I would. I didn't know like how to really treat the situation. I didn't. It just you can't really talk to the same person you've been with for three years and not want to like hold them or, or kiss them. So maybe on some level, like, I wanted to get back at her. We've talked a couple times, but it's been kind of cold and distant. We haven't really talked, really talked. We still talk, but like, we're, you know, not as close as we once were. But I'm miserable now. As hard as it's gonna be, and it's gonna take a little, a lot of time to get over. I still don't know if I, if I will. You can't go back, you have to move forward, and as hard as it's gonna be, and it's gonna take a little, a lot of time to get over, you know. I know that I can do it because I'm a lot, I hope that I'm, <laughs> I'm a lot stronger than I uh, originally gave myself credit for. And I know that eventually something will feel normal, something will feel right again.